As recent as last month, Congressman Michael Sinicholas' former campaign chair, John Paul Manuel, was interviewed in Washington, D.C. by the House Ethics Committee. After all, he was the one who made the initial allegations against his former boss back in 2018 about having an affair with his district director and using campaign funds for personal use. Within the past week, confidential documents leaked to Island Media regarding a report completed by the Office of Congressional Ethics two years ago. That report detailing the investigation the committee conducted. Now, according to the documents, OCE investigators found, quote, substantial evidence. The congressman formulated a scheme to get an illegal $10,000 donation for his congressional campaign in 2018. The report also reads, our congressman, quote, undertook efforts to conceal the contribution from the Federal Election Commission and the public. According to the report, if San Nicolas did in fact engage in a scheme to accept the donation and cover it up, he violated federal laws and FEC regulations in doing so. The documents detail a meeting at Sidelines Bar where the congressman, the campaign donor, and Manuel were discussing campaign finances. The congressman allegedly saying he was having a hard time raising money. The campaign donor agreeing to donate $10,000. San Nicolas then allegedly saying... The $10,000 would have to be in cash, which would make it easier for the money to be washed out in low-dollar fundraisers. After the OCE review began, investigators learned that San Nicolas's new campaign manager and district director, Jennifer Wynn, sent a September 2019 letter to the campaign donor claiming the campaign had only found out about the donation when the Guam Election Commission notified them about a complaint filed by Manuel about the donation. However, the OCE also received a copy of a January 2020 letter from the campaign donor saying he, quote, was informed by the San Nicolas campaign that the contribution would be entirely lawful, but that the donor now understands that may not be true. FEC records and KUAM files show San Nicolas's campaign returned a $9,000 donation to local businessman Andy Park in February of 2020. We should add that the OCE report noted that the congressman, as well as the district director, refused to cooperate with their review. As we reported, this report, the basis for the House Ethics Committee to move forward with an investigation into our delegate. Chris Barnett, KUAM News.